Well, hello there, Tom Green, and I'm here to talk to you about the new FXG format that's been introduced in Flash CS5. This format allows you to create drawings on the Flash stage and then imp export them out to uh, Illustrator, Photoshop, Catalyst, uh, and work on them there, which is kind of a cool, cool little feature. And I kind of want to give you an example of what that's all about. So what I've got here is the Swiss flag. This is uh, a little project I was working on with uh, my co-author, uh, Tiago Diaz, who lives in uh, Zurich, Switzerland. And, and we're working on Foundation Flash CS5 for designers for Friends of Ed. And this is one of the projects I was working on. I thought, well, you know, do a Swiss flag for Tiago. So I've created the Swiss flag, sent it over to Tiago, and he said, uh, dude, a couple of things are wrong here. Uh, the first thing that's wrong is the color. The second thing is, is, I didn't know this, is that the Swiss flag is one of the uh, darn few flags on the planet that is actually square. And uh, why don't we get it to ripple a bit? And I thought, well, damn straight, let's go for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I can uh, take this over to Illustrator, uh, apply a filter to it, and then bring it back. So let's go to work. So I've got the uh, flag here, and I'm just going to select the uh, background on the cross, as you can see right there, and I'm going to File, Export, and I can export the image, or I can export the selection, doesn't matter, I'm going to export the image, and you'll notice that the format is Adobe FXG, that's what I want, I'm going to click Save, and that will save an FXG file to that folder. Now, if I come over to uh, Illustrator CS5 and open the file, there's the flag FXG file. Click open. And there's the flag. Now, the thing you have to understand about this FXG format is you can't go backwards with it. Uh, FXG uh, will not be recognized by anything but Illustrator CS5. Uh, it's just just the way it is. Uh, there is some discussion around legacy formats, but I'm not too sure whether that's going to be happening uh, anytime soon. So first thing I want to do, of course, is uh, get this color changed. So I'm going to select the uh, flag, double click my uh, fill color here, and change it to FF0000. Which is the uh, bright red. And there it is. And the other thing, of course, that's wrong here is that the flag needs to be square. And you'll notice it's 324 by 216. So I'm going to change the width to match the height. And there's my square flag. And I'm going to select both of them. And I'm going to go to Effect, Warp, Flag, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a ripple. I'm going to pull it back to about, uh, we'll say, 15. Click the preview. Yeah, that looks good. You see, it kind of looks like a flag on a banner. Click OK. And now that I've got that done, File, Save As. And in the por formats, I can go to Adobe FXG Format right here. And I'm just going to replace the uh, flag with flag... Uh, with the one from here, so it's going to ask me, do you want to do this? And I'm going to say, yep. And you get the FXG options dialog box. A lot of this is uh, pretty self-explanatory. The descriptions are very good, but there's this uh, button here that says show code. And uh, I'm sure that some of you code jockeys are uh, kind of wondering what that's all about. So if I click it, this is what happens. I open up the XML. And a lot of uh, Adobe's products are now moving to XML-based formats so that they can be moved between the applications rather simply. So that's what the code's all about there. You could also copy and paste the code and uh, play with it elsewhere, but uh, right now I'm just going to leave it where it is. Click OK. Now that I've created the FXG document, I'm going to pop back over to Flash and uh, show you how you can work with this in Flash. So I'll just go back to uh, Flash CS5. There it is. And I'm going to import the FXG document into the uh, library, import to library. And there's the FXG document, click open. 
And you notice it comes into the library as flag FXG. There's the uh, switch there. And if I double click the symbol to open it, you can see that the two layers have been maintained. There's the cross, there's the flag. So I can uh, easily just select both of these and modify timeline distribute to layers. And I can have the cross on one layer. So I'll just uh, select that layer there. There's the cross, so I'm just going to rename it. And there's the uh, flag, so I'll just rename that one. And layer 1 has nothing in it, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And if I come back to scene 1, I can delete this, drop this in place. There we go. And if I double click it, you notice that I can come back in and edit the individual layers in the symbol. Or I can just uh, reopen the image in uh, Illustrator and make some changes there. So there you go. There's the uh, new FXG format. It's kind of neat. You can take your drawings now that you create using the uh, various drawing tools in Flash, export them over to Illustrator, CS5, tweak them up, and then bring them back. So that's the FXG format. Have some fun with it.